Radio Lab Rats. I'm Sean. And I'm Andy. And uh, welcome to the Wired Edition. You may see beside uh, Andy here, he's got a television. You ever notice there's like a zillion connectors here? There's a it's, ton. Oh my god. It's like a one, two, three, four, five, six. There's about like 27. 27 you, jillion. Do, do, 27 jillion. Do you know how, do you know what they all do? Uh, I think so. That's what we're going to do we're today. We're going to talk about that. We're going to tell you about what these connectors are and whether they're good or bad and, you, you know, where to stick the thingy in the thingy. Yeah. If you've bought a television in the last little while, if you haven't had one for a while, if, you know, this is your first one in 10 or 20 years, you might be surprised at the number of connectors on the back of the television set. There's a ton that are there that didn't used to be there. You know, back in the day, you used to have maybe an aerial on the back because that's how you pulled in signals from the outside world. You, you kind of got a screwdriver out and you went, eh, eh, eh. Right. You know, and those some, two wild, you know, connectors and... Right, and for the longest time when you got a VCR uh, or something like that, uh, you would, you know, put that on. A cable box, they would connect to the same connectors on the back. Two little screw posts, you just fasten that down and away you go. I guess, way back in the day, back when I had blonde hair and wore button-across things and rugby pants, back in the 80s, that is. Oh, uh, we got to get a picture of that to overlay there. Oh, no. <laughs> Fantastic. Okay, so... <laughs> so around that time, we started getting some serious connection. In fact, the... the television started becoming a monitor, right? Yes. They, we started connecting, plugging stuff into them. And it wasn't just an antenna anymore. There were things like the, got the Betamax. Betamax. The VHS machine. Right. Yeah, so it, now that you have playback... Were you a, a Betamax guy or a VHS I guy? I actually had VHS. Did you? Yeah, I had VHS too. But, you know, the Betamax is the better quality. Who knows? Yeah, they're, they're still actually using it in, uh, in television production these they are. days. That's VHS, right. It's gone. Bye-bye. But, so they used, the, basically, they took those boxes and they connected them to the back of the, of the, of the, uh, the computer, the computer, listen to me, the television. Um, <laughs> We're talking about TVs today. Sorry, TVs. man. Sorry, man. All right. Uh, coaxial, I guess, was the very first one. That's the, it's kind of, it's got a screwy little thing here, and it's got a, a coppery thingy yeah, in the middle. Yeah, what a pain those things are yeah. to connect. And the reality is, is they really don't transmit pictures particularly well. Not great. I mean, I mean, although frankly, from back in the day, and since television was invented, there's a technology called NTSC. It's actually relatively low resolution. It's about 480 lines of uh, the image, and uh, under NTSC, the first, uh, the odd lines draw first, and then the even lines draw, draw He's next. Talking about interlacing. 480i, 480i, and so really, that's relatively low resolution. So all you need is kind of a coax cable to connect yeah, it. You don't need much. No. Now, forget coax cable because. Quickly came along in, in the 80s uh, something called uh, composite. Yes, right? Or, or also known as the RCA connector. Also called the RCA connectors, right, exactly. Um, and again, you know, you're looking at basically three different colors here. Uh, the, I'm gonna, okay, follow along with me, okay? The red one, no, actually, no, we'll do the yellow one first. What does the yellow, yellow one do? The yellow one is video. Video, right? So if you plug this into your TV, you'll get video. You'll get video. If you plug it into the other end. Can you hear anything? No. Nothing. No. You know why? Those are those two other connectors, red and white. Left and? Left and right. Stereo? It is stereo. Right. So basically, and this is really has been the key, the, you know, sort of the de facto standard really for the last 10 years or so, uh, besides coaxial, I suppose. Right. And, and the thing about coaxial is that was carrying your audio as well. It was decoding it at the television end. So you're getting both your video and your audio through that one tiny little wire in the center. Right. So now we're splitting it up, getting better quality, better separation. We're getting more, more big fat things on the end of the, the, the stringy thing now. Yes. Right? Before it was like one little copper wire, and now it's three of them. Right. <laughs> one, two. Yeah, I can count. <laughs> All right, so. But that's okay. not where it ended. No, it's, no it didn't. Um, in fact, in the, it, it, when VCRs, like, do you remember when VCRs went to Super VCR or Super, was it Super yeah. VHS? I did. It was a marketing ploy, kind of, but it? it did increase the quality of it. And, uh, and sure enough, S-Video came along. S-Video is a connector that uh, has uh, pins inside it, and it has to go in in a very particular way because it's carrying different information. Kind of like scratching your ear? Yeah. Yeah, so anyways, again, this is a video connector now right, only. Right. So you have to have the audio <gasps> connector. Bring that cable back. Right. So you now still need... So you basically dispense with the yellow one. And you're going to put this one in with the uh, red and the white right. one. Now this is good for, I think, DVDs. If you have an older DVD player and uh, you want a better picture, because DVD, of course, is 480p, it's, a, the qu it's twice the resolution. Right, so 480p meaning 480 progressive. Progressive meaning. Which means it does them all in all a row. All 480 lines draw all at once, every uh, th 60th of a second, uh, six 30th of a second. Um, and so it's worth using the S video and the, uh, the two stereo because you're actually going to get a better quality of picture. 
you know, with a lot of older components, you can't really tell much of a difference between the older composite and the S-Video mm -hmm. connector. But yeah, with the newer components like DVD, it does increase the quality. Right. I can't get bored of that because I want to get onto the new high-tech stuff. Let's, uh, you know, let's talk about my favorite. My favorite is, is, is something, what is this called? It's component, right? It's component, and it's right. very easy to mix that up with composite. Right. We were having a discussion on the way over, uh, talking about this composite component. We we're trying to hook up various things to the same connectors. You know, you got these three trillion things on the back. We're talking component and composite, and they started to mix in with each other. But what you have to remember here, both of them have a red, but this one has, or the component have green and blue. And what that's doing is it's splitting the video channel up into the three different components that you have. If you look very carefully at the three television colors? set, the three colors, if you look very carefully at each pixel on the television there's set or on your computer monitor, there's a red pixel, right. a green pixel, and a blue pixel. Right. So what it's doing is it's splitting those up, keeping them separate, and it'll give you a better picture overall. Right. Now you have to look for the, uh, on the back of this, you have to actually look for the component connectors. Don't connect your component cables to your old composite, uh, the, the yellow, white, blue, red ones, right? Because that won't work. Well, yeah, again, it will. You'll get spring. something. You, you won't get, something. get anything usable. So basically you want to stick these guys in here. Let's see if I can do it in the right order. Green, red, blue. Now important to remember again, that's a video signal only, so you'll need these two. You still need these end. things too. Okay, so wait a second. We can have got now we went from one cable to two to three. Now we're and at then five. Th three. Oh, great. So hook those up again. Now Where does it go? Now there are a few other cables that you can use to replace yeah. those two audio cables. There's a coaxial. Um, audio, which is, a, it's, it's like the RCA connector, except it takes digital signals. And then there's also an optical one, which uses light, and that is a little D-shaped one that actually spits a little red light out at the end. But uh, let's I, not worry about that too much right now. So now we have five, we have five things connected to the back of our TV. Right. And uh, I mean, really, that is, where are you going to want to use component? You're going to use component on a, on a DVD. Right. Uh, perhaps on, a, on your, especially if you have a high definition television. Right. Anything that uses high definition, you need to go to component at the very least. Right. Now, why is that? Because it carries a more signal right. through there. And the older ones, they don't quite carry that amount of signal. Right. And you'll get a crappy picture. No good. But do I really have to stick to, can I just like wipe all these? Why doesn't somebody just invent like one cable that works? They replace did. all of them. They did, Andy. It's called HDMI. <laughs> and you knew this. <laughs> HDMI stands for High Definition yeah. Multimedia Interface. These are the questions my mom would ask, though. Yeah. They hey, would. Mom. <laughs> Anyways, so yeah, HDMI does it all. It carries your audio and your video in one Half cable. Half duplex, merry go round interface. High, High def Definition Multimedia Interface. Huh. So that carries yeah. everything in one handy cable. Right. And actually, you know what? I do know this. It, it carries audio as well, right? It does carry yeah. audio. Now, there's something actually very similar to HDMI that you may encounter. It is also a digital connector on the back of your high-definition television. It's called a DVI connector. Right. Digital and video interface. Digital, thank you very much. And the thing about DVI is, that, in fact, you may actually have seen this on the back of your computer uh, to plug in your flat panel monitor. It's the same thing. It's a, it's a slightly bigger connector. Yeah, except on your computer, it doesn't carry any audio. It's just strictly a video. It's a strictly a video. And the, the beautiful thing about both HDMI and DVI is that it's a digital signal. It means that what, what starts out at one end of the cable will actually travel in completion to the end, other end of the cable. There'll be no distortion. The, the, the originating picture is exactly the same as the picture is going to show up on the television end of things, which I think is really cool because there's going to be no distortion and... and it's just cool. It's, it's the same at both ends. It's going to be digital on your television set these days and digital at uh, the, the digital cable end that's pushing it out. Why not just keep it digital the entire way? Why convert it twice? So at home, do you have a high def TV? I do. And do you use HDMI or DVI well, or it Component? It or? doesn't have HDMI yet. I've got a slightly older model. It's a, a flat screen and I'm right. actually using Component. And it looks great. It looks fantastic. Component. Yeah, Component. Absolutely. Now you told me a secret before. Yeah, uh, you've got these ones right here. Got these special cables. You can you can spend a lot of money on these cables getting the specific ones. Mm -hmm. You know what? You don't really need them. He uses these. I use those, and you know what? They work fine. So can you believe got, that? You've got your uh, red, and you've got your green, and you've got your blue. It doesn't really look like that there, but it works the same. Well, that's actually kind of a good tip. You know, video files out there are probably shaking. Like, no, no, please. No. But you know what? It's it's a sort of a, a video file versus audio file sort of thing. You know, some people will tell the difference. If your eyes are made of gauze or whatnot, you, you don't really see these really crisp details so much. I mean, why are you buying HDTV, I guess? But 
you know, because it's, it's cool. It's cool, but you know, and you, it's big and flat. You will see the difference, but uh, you know, you may not see much of a difference by going from one of these that's proper to one of those that's. My personal thing right now I, is I'm not going to shell out 120 bucks for the HDMI cable. No way, it's, Jose. That's insane. It's stupid. That's more than the DVD player. It's dumb, this. and I and sorry, Monster, and all the rest of the you morons that uh, make. Did I say morons? That these are you people that, that make out. all of. <laughs> I don't think so. Uh, that make the high-end cables. I don't buy it. I don't buy it. You can use a reasonable 30 or 40 dollar cable, and even that is stupidly expensive. Um, and connect it up. In fact, I defy you. I say, you know, if you can get your hands on a high-quality cable and a low-quality cable, you know, test the two. Most people will not be able to tell the difference. Yeah, it's like vinyl versus CD. Some people really will be able to tell the difference. A lot of people I love won't vinyl. Care. I love vinyl too. But you know what? I love CDs as well. Well, my Duran Duran albums are on vinyl. I've seen your Duran Duran <laughs> albums. <laughs> they sound beautiful and warm. Anyway, never mind. It really. Uh, I, in fact, I really do recommend that you actually try both cables because it's actually a, a, an eye-opening experience. Yeah, you know, save yourself a hundred packs. Yeah, but exactly. Seriously, I really do. So uh, let's 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 review. Going back into the dark ages, there was uh, two weird little wires for your antenna. Yes, the antenna. And we got rid of those, and we went to coaxial. Yes. And coaxial is what we do in the coaxial. Right? Coaxial. Okay, so there's coaxial, um, and then we moved up to the RCA connectors, also known as composite, yes. which was uh, red, white, and yellow. Yes. And then we moved to S video, yes, and which is worth doing. It is worth doing, especially on your DVD player. Right. But then you also you need, need your, you need your audio cable still. That's right. So, you need so now you're down to black, which is your S video, and the red and white. Red and white. Okay. But I think the best way to go, especially with the high def TVs these days, is this, these component, what the red, green, and right. blue. And it's probably the most cost-effective way. It gives you a great picture. It doesn't cost you a kajillion dollars like an HDMI cable. Mm. And uh, you know what? You can even skip this and get something cheaper if you want to. You know, a couple cheap pieces out. of string and a. And a couple of tin cans. A couple of tin cans. <laughs> Anyway, that's uh, today's episode, episode two of uh, Lab Rats. Thanks for downloading. We just want to remind you that you can always come to our website at labrats.tv. And you can also uh, download and get more information about the show at labrats.globalhermit.com. And labrats.cyberwalk.com. You're making me do your job for you. <laughs> labrats.globalhermit.com as well. See, I'm going to say Global Hermit again. <laughs> that's right. <laughs> anyway, thanks for downloading. Um, check us out. Of course, we're into episode two, so there's episode one. If you haven't seen that, go download that as well. Um, and uh, until next time, uh, I am Andy. I'm Sean. We'll see you later. Uh, oh, that feels good. Are you